Hey guys, Kyle with Mainville ATV and Outdoors. Today we're going to be switching something up on the bike. Something that uh, my neighbor and I really wanted to do because if you're going to do this, you might as well be super loud about it. So today's mod is going to be changing that old fart can out for this guy here. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, from what I understand, these guys don't need a tuner. Uh, it keeps the price down quite a bit. So we're going to give this a shot. We're going to do a sound comparison. See if I can get some video of the install and uh, we'll go from there. So I just opened it up and like I've seen in other videos, it is filled with spray foam. Probably going to try the other side. Not going to lie to you. This is a mess. Ah, get out of there. Wow pretty annoying I understand it's well packaged but uh, wow there's still a whole box full of it so I dumped enough out and we pulled out the exhaust Yoshimura's uh, exhaust here no tuner required Can-Am dealer actually sells it and I heard they're quite loud and obnoxious and I mean, I mean really that's exactly what I'm going for if there's performance gains I'm probably not going to be able to tell It'll mostly be a placebo, but it's going to be loud. Got everything out here now. You've got a vehicle owner decla declaration that basically states you don't meet EPA standards, which is the Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, basically says uh, this vehicle is now a race vehicle. So that's cool. I can technically say that. This is the funniest bit I've ever seen. So this is a page that says you can go and get instructions online for this build. So there's a page that tells you to go get instructions instead of making a page that has the instructions. Okay. And then, I'm not going to lie, I had a kick out of that. Diesel, you want a new toy? I think it's a plug or something. Here. Yep, that's basically what that does. Okay, bye. Step number one for me, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm going to remove the tire. It'll just make it easier. Give yourself a little bit extra room. So it's 17 mil. You can keep it on the ground and just use a bar to get it off, or I'm going to zing it off with my little electric impact. We'll get started that way, start making some room and then start plugging away at this. I got the instructions on my phone now because they don't give it to you, uh, which is unique, but we're going to keep going with it. Probably remove little dorky things like this, but carrying on. So I just took the tire off and I heard this fall on the ground. Uh, which is actually the back of your stud. It's a brand new machine and apparently I broke a stud already. So, wow. Okay. I guess I'm glad I found it now, I suppose, but so be it. I'll order one of these and put that on later. Taking out uh, these four piece, uh, Torx bolts here. There's also another three on the back of the exhaust. That's these two plates here. They are uh, various length T30 Torx bolts. Once those are out, you'll see mount number one and mount number two. We'll proceed to take those out and then the clamp over here on this side. And this is where it actually slips on. And then I'll actually refer to the instructions because from what I understand and seen in other videos, some of the shield you have to adjust. So. We're going to go see what that's all about. So as I imagined, top mount, it's a 13 mil nut. And then down here is the exact same thing, 13 mil. I can use an impact for this one, just a little impact. That one up here, I just used a ratchet. This side here was a 14 mil nut. I'm probably going to get in there and kind of split that apart a bit. I've already got it broken free a little bit, but I'll probably have to twist it off because right here is actually just a slip joint with that clamp. There's usually like some sort of nylon or something, like a band in there. So we'll uh, get to that next. 
I may get a chunk of wood and prop it like right here and then put a bar and just kind of wiggle it off. Not a big deal. I'll show you when we get there. So there you have it. It's off. Um, this is a quite new machine, so uh, it did take a little bit of convincing. And I'll tell you the sweet spots. Basically, when the top mount was up here, I gave it a little twist with a pry bar in there. And then I gave them a tap here, 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 and here, just to kind of move it this way. And this clamp, even though it wasn't on long, when you take the bolt off, just go to the back side of it with a bar and hit the end of the bar just to kind of break it free. So then it would let go. So this is the actual slip here that goes on the head that's going to stay on the quad. And then it's pretty much uh, reverse with the new equipment. And I'm sure there's going to be a couple little things I'll have to figure out on the instructions. And hopefully I can avoid you having to go and do that. Alright, let's get back to it. Okay, so I had a look at everything. And uh, honestly, you can figure it out fairly easily. Um, so this is what everything comes with here. So this is some sort of like... Uh, bushing so to speak this is actually going to slip on your existing header and you'll notice one side has a lip so you put it over the header and leave the lip out that'll stop it from moving over when you're trying to slip the other end on just like so you'll have this clamp pre-prepared down the line obviously facing towards you so you can just tighten that up and that solves that bit then you'll get two black o-rings like this I just put this one into here, but essentially your bottom mount's going to get one. This is actually your top mount, it's kind of like a hanger so to speak, and it's going to get bolted to the top so it can switch directions like so. And once you have that done, through the bushings you'll have these uh, gold pieces here and they're actually going to go into these hangers. And uh, that'll provide like a washer so to speak, so then you have your bolt it'll go through the washer and then you'll have your nut um, so your stover uh, is a, kind of like a properly a one-time use so and you'll have a washer and a few other things too for that stuff so basically I'm gonna zip this together it's not gonna be all that hard once you see it and I'll see if I run into any troubles I'll let you know all about it right on. so here it is all mounted up I didn't run into any issues myself um, you can see that the, this unit's actually really sharp. The way they designed it is, is smart. Um, I think the only way they can improve is to maybe include the actual instructions, which seems to be a pattern for me lately. But uh, I, I test fitted it a couple times and found out this is uh, the orientation that you have to put it in. So that yellow mount is actually on the back side, not the, the other side like I originally had it. I tried that out, it didn't work. So I got everything tightened down. It went on really easy, honestly. I actually didn't even pull out the instructions. I was worried it was going to heat, hit the heat, sheet, or heat shield here, um, which it didn't. You just got to kind of shuffle it around just so much and then tighten it down and you'll be fine. Uh, I know some applications, some people actually did cut out a chunk there. I'll let you know down the road. Um, I did already hear it and I have to say I am impressed. That is loud. Spark arrestor in. That is another fact that you need to know. With this unit here, you really want to keep the spark arrestor in. Um, I've heard some horror stories about people taking it out for that extra noise, and um, it, it allows water and mud in very quickly without it. So keep that in mind. Also, I've heard rumors that you need a tuner when you take the spark arrestor out. I don't know how true that is, but it's what I keep hearing from multiple places. So we're going to zip this back together. I'm going to put a sound comparison to, at the end. and. Uh, see what you guys think let me down know down below and in the comments i'd love to hear what you think and uh, what's next down the road right on guys